Anatomy of the subscapularis muscle. The subscapularis muscle is a large muscle that originates from the anterior surface of the scapula and lies in front of the shoulder. The muscle passes to its insertion into the humeral head underneath the arch formed by the coracoid process and the combined origin of the coracobrachialis muscle and the short head of the biceps. The subscapularis muscle is the largest of the four rotator cuff muscles and it provides about 50% of the total cuff strength. It inserts into the lesser tuberosity of the humerus, while the other rotator cuff muscles have an insertion into the greater tuberosity. The subscapularis muscle acts as a dynamic stabilizer of the humeral head and it aids in lifting across the chest. The function of the subscapularis muscle is to adduct and rotate the arm medially. Internal rotation of the arm. At the insertion of the subscapularis tendon into the humerus lies the transverse humeral ligament. The long head of the biceps tendon lies within the bicepital groove and is held in place by the transverse humeral ligament. When a complete rupture of the subscapularis tendon occurs, the transverse humeral ligament may also become torn, causing medial dislocation of the biceps tendon from its bicepital groove. Radiological examination. Tears of the subscapularis tendon may be diagnosed by using MRI or ultrasound. With the ultrasound imaging, the probe is placed transversely over the bicepital groove to identify the groove and the biceps tendon while the arm is in a neutral position. The arm is then externally rotated to view the subscapularis tendon. Diagnosis of subscapularis rupture Tears are not uncommon. It can be missed. It can be either acute or chronic. It can also be partial or complete. Patient with subscapularis tendon rupture will have pain, anterior shoulder swelling, decreased range of motion, weakness of internal rotation and increased external rotation of the shoulder compared to the other shoulder. What are the clinical diagnostic tests for subscapularis tendon rupture? The lift-off test. The patient places the hand behind their back at the lumbar level and lifts the hand away from the back when the patient has an intact subscapularis tendon. If the patient is unable to lift the hand of the lower back, then a tear of the subscapularis tendon is suspected. There is another test called the lift-off leg test. The examiner will hold the patient's hand away from the back of the lumbar region and let go. The patient will be unable to keep the hand away from the back if the tendon is torn. How about the belly press test? The patient presses the palm of the hand against the abdomen with the rest in a neutral position. This is an example of an intact subscapularis tendon. A positive sign for belly press test occurs if the patient is unable to press his belly without wrist volar flexion or the elbow falling posteriorly. Treatment. Complete tear, surgical repair. Repair may be either open or arthroscopic. Biceps tenodesis during the repair is associated with improved outcomes. Biceps tenodesis is usually done if the biceps is involved in the process. Otherwise, subluxation of the biceps will stress and fail the subscapularis tendon repair. In chronic muscle tear, 
Pectoralis major muscle transfer is the procedure of choice. You will transfer the sternocostal head of the pectoralis major muscle. Posterior dislocation of the humeral head with reverse Hill-Sax lesion is a rare condition. The condition can be improved after reduction of the dislocation with the McLaughlin procedure utilizing the subscapulary tendon if the lesion is between 20 to 40 percent of the humeral head. The subscapulary tendon is used to fill the reverse hill sex lesion using suture anchors or screws inserted into the humeral head defect. The screws are inserted into portion of the lizard tuberosity that is attached to the subscapularis. The subscapularis muscle is supplied by the upper and lower subscapular nerves. The upper and lower subscapular nerves arise from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. The subscapular artery, which is the largest branch of the axillary artery, supplies the subscapularis muscle. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.